I'm Jake from the Cubs Guys. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We just wrapped up the second class trial. The execution for that trial was one of my favorites. I think it's maybe second or third behind Peko's execution because I think that one was my favorite. Hopefully in this episode we can figure out who's going to be the next star of the third class trial. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go! When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's had to choose from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you even have a brain to use. Hey, I won't forgive you. That. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, we'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just... Even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But... But stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, different? Um, Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? We were taken somewhere far away. Far away? Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Right. Now, now, it won't take that long, so just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, what is it that you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. Well, <laughs> is somebody gonna tell him? You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean, Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Um... Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like... If you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! Why you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. Oh, she's choking a bitch. We stand a girl you know, that chokes a bitch. This is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Do it. Who said that? Hey, Maki. What the hell's going on? I swear, somebody's in this room. Somebody said that. Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. Do it. Choke that bitch. I, s I swear. That's not your style. Y you would rather... Kill from the shadows. Kill him in the light! Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin. Ultimate Assassin? Hey, me gusta. I like that. I like the sound of that. Hey, if that's an ultimate to have, I'd want to be the ultimate assassin, you know? Transfer student from beyond the grave. Ooh, spooky. Let's see who that is. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Wait, so she's not the ultimate caregiver? Bro, I thought she was taking care of kids. But she got Come guns. On, Bro, she got guns that turn on nuns. What the heck is this? Mm. It's like weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Now she's taking care of something. She's taking care of business. You feel me? Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because you saw that. Hmm? Huh? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about that. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. <laughs> yeah, you could probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, 
Miss Ultimate Assassin. And I'm pretty sure he went. <laughs> Hmm. As he's getting choked out. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. If people found out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had so many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude. Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please, give me data, please. Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her. But what about next time? Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. Oh, smells like Nagito situation again. Uh, I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? But... Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Oh, wait! You don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Snake attack! A snake attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um... Sneak attack? Strike before she does. Should an Akito master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to help hold the peace. That's fine. If so, I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow! Wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> Ultimate assassin my ass. Always messing around. Huh? Kaito? Don't do anything stupid. Okay, Okay. let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Ganta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on, Hey, man. Ganta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Well, oh, well. I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. <laughs> Monokuma. Stay back. Everyone, get behind Ganta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I just said I don't need your usual reactions. It's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I have said I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize! Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Yeah, I want to say hi to the gang. There they are! Gang! gang! <laughs> Barely any gang. That's half the gang. Rise and shine, Rise and shine Urzine. Urzine. They're finally here! Yay! You're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Just, wow. You guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? <laughs> oh, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. Like in patches. He's actually balding! <laughs> Ugh, gross! I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry! I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Well, the gang has finally risen as a full gang. From now on, I will be calling the shots. <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for so long, you become predictable. Leave it to me. It's the age of the monocups now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? What? But what about all the longtime fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? <laughs> has-been? Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? Oh boy. You were saying. Yo oh boy. Yo oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did you forget, father? Only we can pilot the exit. <laughs> Did what? you forget, really? father? Beep, boop, bop, beep, boop, beep, boop. How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. The harmonious control of the gang? Aside, really? Father. The gang gang? <laughs> no it way! Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? 
You're the worst it's the completely worst. and utterly wrong. No. 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 No, 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 no way. Uh, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time, for good. So then. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. A wonderful uh, prize. Um, let's see what the prize is this time. I can't wait. Was that a hammer, or some kind of roll, and a key? A magic key and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Yay! A bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo! We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. So let me guess, these random shits are gonna open three random rooms. Is that what we're talking here? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man, we didn't need any more junk. We had way too much anyway, and its name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually, also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. Letter so gang! Gang, gang! Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. Shit. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my I've recorded then. your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... So what are we gonna do? We use this junk. We can open up new places, but... Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh... I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback lights. Perhaps we'll recall the school secrets. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, hey, I'm not okay. your bro, guy. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But... Eh, all that aside, what are we going to do with that thing? Uh... Um, let's just leave him here. Okay, so it's just me and Monokuma and Kaito. Kaito, stay being my side bitch, though. Uh, I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. But what about this area? Look at this. Oh, guns on guns! Uh. Whoa! I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft guns. Well, Of course, Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Exisles may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns... Monokuma would never allow that. If these weapons were real, and if Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape. For her people. Yes, for her people. For the country. My hair looking like ultimate fuckboy status. I gotta put the hat on. Yes! Okay, ninja scroll. Does that thing look like a ninja? Yeah, buddy! Hey! Knocking down those trees. Who cares about Mother Nature, you know what I'm saying? Only you can prevent forest fires. Welcome? What do you mean, Malcolm? What is that, Titty Typhoon? I think that's Titty Typhoon Jr., everybody. Look at that. I know I'm gonna see some titties in there. Huh? A building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! hi -ya! It's not just any building, it's a dojo. So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train, as long as they made me good food. Is that really the same? Yeah, can you stop talking, please? All right, we're going to go inside there. I am not going to talk to you two. And we're going to go inside that dojo. It must be an ultimate research lab. And from the look of the building... Ah, it's the ultimate Akito Masters lab. I'm sure of it. Well, All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Yeah, what a pain. Pushing Himiko along. Tenko step inside the building. I suppose I should check inside too. I was going to say that I don't mind Tenko that much. I think I'm just giving her shit. But Himiko is honestly... And I'm just being straight up an ass of a character. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. I want to smell new tatami mats. I wonder what they smell like. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Let me smell. Oh, yeah, that's a good shit. See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why? Why are you angry? Whoa. I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions. Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But, but without a sparring partner, she's just gonna beat him up. Yup, there you go. Uh, yeah. I saw that coming from a mile away. 
What was that She's for? gonna whoop his ass out of nowhere. Because he's a degenerate male, I tell ya. Uh, oh! Ow! Why are you throwing me? Listen up! Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? You're gonna start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait! This is just kidding? Why don't we go straight into actual fighting? You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack mm -hmm. self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up! You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Keto! Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko! So how about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Uh, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Yeah, there you go. Please, wolf her yeah. ass! You know what, Tanko? Just for that, you go up a few notches on my likable characters list. If you could snap her neck, A, you might be top tier. S tier. I see. It seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now, come sweat with me. And afterward, we'll hit the showers together. Yo, 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 yo. Chill with that, chill with that. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Okay. Even I can see that. Did she just say hit the showers together? Like, what? Like, do the thing with the towel and just go whoosh, whoosh, type shit? Okay, let's uh, see this giant wooden doll. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Oh, wait. Is it a doll? I don't know, but it got a nice mustache. Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Bro, I could whoop that doll's ass. Like, come on. Would you like to leave? Sure. I think we figured everything out here. Huh. What's that over there? What's that over where? Oh, Mew? <laughs> come on. What's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. But no, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. I won't make Good. things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. We can take fun. this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> but Mew, we shouldn't. Come with It'll be me. fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Whoa, what are they doing together, huh? Hey, what are they getting into? Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mew made her way to the ultimate inventor's lab. Uh, what was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. Nah, no, man, you're too innocent for all that shit, Shuichi. I think you gotta cover your eyes, cover your ears, and I don't think you should go in the boom boom room. This is not the ultimate inventor's lab. This is the boom boom room. Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound, the boom boom room, I'm telling you. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Boom boom room. Oh my God, she got the phone bags all man, pressed against his robot you're ass. you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Yo, everybody, cover your eyes, cover your ears, call the police, do what you throbbing gotta do, FBI. With dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good, no good at all. You must feel so. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterward. Oh, um. Thank you. Oh yeah, your chassis is firm. Which really chassis? Really firm. Yo, which chassis? Is your that some kind of urban dictionary word? Chassis? Incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. Ro robots can feel emotions. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel. Oh, tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. Just my what? Oh! <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. Did he just... Did he... You know what? You know what? We're keeping it PG. We're keeping it G. I closed the door without a word. Thank you, Shuichi. Thank you. Did he just... Th he, he said whoa, right? Mew was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. Yes, indeed, we will never speak of this again. But my guy was moaning though. He was going, whoa! 
Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. I remember this door. This Mario looking door. Yeah, buddy. Hey, I know the monocubs aren't here, but gang, gang. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. What, I wonder, is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us? Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest? Yes, this world is full of jests. This dude, man. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. Is it? I don't even know what the hell that even means. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um... Huh? Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but mask too? Well... I should go. <laughs> yeah, I should go. Ain't nobody talking about mask. Usually you only wear a mask if you butt-ass ugly. And Gonta, you know, he looking like he could be a male model for Tarzan magazine or something. Oh! The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, what is going on here? Hey, gang, gang! Actually, so, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! If I hear any scary stories, they won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um, oh, but she said made-up story. So that mean it okay, right? So I guess. Long. Oh, later, gang. That was fast. We saw the gang. We said farewell to the gang. I don't think I want to talk to them. I kind of want to explore this creepy-ass place myself. Am I going to get jump scared? Bro, am I going to hit high notes? This must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. I'm going to guess it's Samugi's lab. It's the ultimate cosplay lab. What is this? Oh, it's your lab. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. I actually really like the way this room looks, though. <laughs> it would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. I just like it because it has a high ceiling. That's actually dope as shit. Okay, let's uh, talk to Cory Kenjikyo. Wonderful. This is truly amazing. Not even university labs are. Shut up! Heard it before! Door to hallway. Let's check out. I don't know, exhibit case? There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rusted in places, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. I'm still robbing his ass later tonight. Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. Just because he made me say that word, I'm definitely still in that katana. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worship as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Bro, he's gonna he's trying to rob it before me? Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Nah, but don't. Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Mm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Huh, I see. It could be also used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that's an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he's angry. Eh, I'm not intimidated. I don't really care. I'll investigate here a little more. Okay, so is that a big clue? The fact that the flakes come off the sword so easily? 
it might be. But let's see what else we can check. Another exhibit case. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Could it be? Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is how amazing. It's actually real. Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, it is an I extremely see? precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who had feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind that is valuable, something that I'm gonna rob as well. I see. Yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... uh Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire cage dog village. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, I'm not. All right, well, if I'm not gonna go, then what did it say? It said dog statue, right? Or am I lying? Yeah, dog statue right here. Yeah, boy. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Oh, Incredible. Can it be? I never dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, oh, can this be? even a cage? This is perfect. Uh, perfect? Um, for what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. Alright, I ain't worried about that cage, bitch. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Facts. Listen. By the way, Suichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So. Would you like to try it? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the dead? Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead? If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more time. What, Himiko's personality? No. No. No, I, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally get out of here. <laughs> the determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. One must I call on myself. them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Yeah, let's get out of here. This is getting weird. Yes, please. Thank you. We got one more thing that we need to do. And it's hammer time, bitches. 
but I believe that it's gonna be somewhere in this weird ass area. It looks like an abandoned mine. Hey, what the hell are you two looking at, huh? What are you two plotting and scheming over there, huh? Left room? Okay, left room. We're going inside of the left room, everybody. Oh, is that Monosuke? Wait, 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 wait! Was that Monosuke? Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is gonna pop out of you. Oh. Well, you better not jump scare me or else. I'll investigate around here a little more. Okay, okay, okay. Lit candle. It's lit, bitches. The candle on the walls are the only light in this room. There are no windows here. It'd get pitch black if candles go out. Oh, please don't put them out. I really don't like the dark. Well, I can't imagine many people do. Okay, well, what about that candle? The candles on the wall are the only light in this room. Huh. Floor. The floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh, this floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Really? Mm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But, but each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Gone to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But, but it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Uh -huh. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. It doesn't look like there's anything important here, just an empty room. Oh! Oh! This not only empty room, you see three same looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. Hmm. Ah, so there are three of them. Hmm. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um... Then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. Well... But there are no windows though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna leave. And maybe we have to use the hammer, right? I think that's what it's gotta be. Or we can, what? What is that? Why are there pictures and it looks like it goes further down the hallway? Interesting, huh? Huh, it's locked? Oh, Kokichi, what are you doing over here? Oh yep, seems like it, and I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other Ultimate Labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, if um... both of the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret tech. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Uh oh! Oh, what the? God yeah. no! Yeah, can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here. Hey, hey! I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy! Come in, come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. I'm assuming this is her lab. We're gonna see some crazy shit, aren't we? We're gonna see a tool all over the walls. Is that what it is? What's her ultimate ability again? Is she the ultimate artist? There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Not sure. Atua, has, Atua spoken. has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Hey, gang, gang! What's up, gang? Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was gonna answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? You promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand on my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. Ah. Ah, that's unsanitary. What? Oh, wait, Monodam. We weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So? So, what's up with the key? Actually... Ah, uh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe... I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Right now. Yeah. Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. So, any room where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key, but... 
I'm surprised the Monocubs knew that. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. Because we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, Monodam. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. Monodam swiped the key from Monofanny, then lifted it to his mouth. Um, no. Nom. <gasps> ah, he ate it. No, no. Oh. Ah. Oh, he swallowed it. Beep, beep, beep. 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 Oh, he oh. shat it. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Because Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. Uh, later, gang. Later, gang, even though you guys make no sense sometimes. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh, but I'm only going to lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Uh, oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way... By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? But... Monokuma has claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Only a two it's a miraculous sure. mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. Ha, <laughs> ah, that's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. I feel like this is where the next murder is going to be taking place. But let's see the front door. I'll investigate around here a little more. All right, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Let's see lump of wax. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Huh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh, Oh, but Atua is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. Huh, I see. But, but... but it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. Why? Is it because they can't breathe in it? And that's how they die? They just suffocate? This door isn't the one we used to come in. Um... This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember... All right. And the door that we used? Yeah. Yeah. That door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then... But I think a symmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I think that's going to be a very important clue. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. Yeah, we still got to figure out the mystery with the doors. But I thought that maybe coming here would help solve that mystery. But I just leave that room even more confused. Uh, hey! What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, you creepy ass? Monokuma stared at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, I suppose um, he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? I don't know, dude. But I'm very creeped out. Is it here? No, it's not here. Okay. Where you at? Don't scare me. Don't you jump scare me. Is it here? No? Not it? Okay. Monokuma? Kumi? Kumi bear? Where the hell did he go? There he is. Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Huh? This picture? Huh? Oh, I see. 
It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps. Yup. Right. See? What'd I tell you all? I didn't know it was glass, but I knew that we were gonna have to just tear that up with a hammer. Nice. Just as I thought. There's a hidden passageway here. Thanks, bud. Appreciate ya. I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. The flashback light's gotta be back here. Right? What is this? There's more ultimate labs? Like, are you freaking kidding me? Whose lab haven't I been to yet? Is this Kibo's? It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this... Oh, gang gang! I think this is Kibo's lab. You bastards. If you come this far, that means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. Because that puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? So. Oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is like super amazing. It looks like an Xbox. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Huh? You totally said way too much. Sorry. Oh, I knew it. Oh. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Oh. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Mono Fanny? Huh? huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? You're friends, right? So why didn't you help him? Oh, well, um... If you can't get along, you will be punished. Well, we know who's dying in the next class trial. You too, Monotaro. Friends share everything, even punishments. What? Backfire? Later, gang gang. One of you guys is dying soon. I know it is. I'm calling the girl, Monofanny. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. So do I just leave? Or there you go. I told you the flashback light. Give me that flashlight, boy. Yeah, give me that flashy light, boy. Oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. But before that... Before what? Oh, you'll investigate a little bit more? All right. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. The machine can make a new world? What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I'd stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Sure, whatever you say, bud. Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank see, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito wasn't here yet. Oh. Maki's not here either. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey, hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Miu, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Keyboy might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> I have been meaning to ask, but Kibo. What is your talent exactly? Well... Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh, yes. I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Keyboy's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not I just told me. you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? 
But I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, uh well, the monocubs did say it was amazing. Yo! Hey, thanks for waiting. Okay, nobody cares. Oh, you brought Maki too. Ah, uh, Kaito and huh? Maki? Why is Maki with you? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on. Wait, man. hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um Um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But why you hide that? Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always? Mm. Huh, you've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so oh, mean. poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... <laughs> hey, can you let go of me now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm. And Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Oh, poor Maki. Maki. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. She's actually one of the characters I want to get to know the most because she seems like a cool character. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito. What were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. No, I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback like yes? Everyone! Yes! So, have we all decided what we're gonna do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course! We might be able to remember something new! <sighs> like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt? No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit! Of course it's got something to do with why! Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, don't to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... But, but, no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you on. think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding! I know that, and we can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh... Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, we saw that flashbacky bullshit. The world warped. Cool. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? All of them died? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Bro, I think I said this before, but is this old Kyoko, old Biakuya, and old Nahajime? Makoto? Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Nah, um, none, none of them sound like that. Is that hero? Old hero? It's gotta be, right? Huh. What was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here! 
Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It would appear we all remember the same thing. The fuck's going but on? What the hell does it mean? Means you're all dead, bitches. Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Because somebody clapped you too. What the hell why? is going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Jeez, this is so stupid I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then? Then what was it? I mean... It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course! If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um... But aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... That's... Well, we'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistake in that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness! Okay, good. Gone to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry. Stop about saying it. stupid stuff. Look at me, I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Cause you get a heart on every time you see me? Oh yeah. Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? Hey, stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. Aw oh, man. What a disappointment. Huh? A disappointment. It's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. Your whole character's a whole letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Uh, okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. Nuh uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. What meal though? Why'd you have to fade to black? I wanted to see what meal. I'm kind of hungry. Like I've been dieting and I'm hungry already. I'm craving. I'm having cravings. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. I was gonna tell you all, I think my opinions have changed on a few characters in this series. One of them is Kokichi. I didn't like him at first because I thought maybe he would be a great value Nagito. But you know what? He's different than Nagito. I shouldn't compare the two. Hmm. Just because they're kind of like little instigators, that doesn't mean they're the same person. Kokichi's more outspoken and I feel like he's a big shit talker. Nagito just had good intentions and wanted the best, but he went about it in a very unique way. So he has risen up. Kokichi has risen up. I feel like Gonta is kind of just dumb. So he's kind of just like gone down. I think I liked him at first because he was just like a gentle giant. But now I'm like, Gonta, stop being dumb. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, Kaito appears. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Maki? The ultimate assassin. Huh? Maki? Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom and I got so fed up I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is this stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. <laughs> you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like a super dog, cat, or a horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um... Of all the examples you could have picked, oh, right did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know... Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do the it. The same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own story. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so... How long are you gonna run away? Huh? What? 
Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. She had the same face as I mean... always, my guy. You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you gonna run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, you've Come been running on. away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Maki is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he gonna be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you gonna do? Kaito! Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to... Okay, okay. Fine. I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it. Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Ha! Huh. <laughs> so you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? All right! All right first, a hundred push-ups! Oh man, not this push-up nonsense again. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. We all did push-ups? Oh, there you go. You really need to calm down with those push-up moans. Not bad! Shuichi, you're getting better! Yo. Hey, Kaido. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing 100. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... She's probably already on like 400. 92, 93, 94. Okay, okay, what? okay, okay. That's I see best. you, Maki. 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with? Hey. Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez, why she gotta be so difficult? Um, hey Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Mm -hmm. Huh? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you could just leave them. Uh, weak um, and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah, nah your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut Nothing. up! Nothing! Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. Yeah, you can't fool the ultimate detective. Get your ass back down there and do those push-ups. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. See, that's what happens when you lie. You just gotta start over and make things more difficult for yourself. Damn, Kaito. I thought astronauts were supposed to be smart. Dude just making an ass out of himself. Ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards on my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, they said assemble in the gym? Usually when the ding dong bing bongs baby happen, I kind of just like fast forward through it because they usually say the whole thing. They're like, rise and shine, everybody. Da, da, da. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rontaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Oh man, I'm tired as hell. I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What do you think? Uh. Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... Uh. That thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop! Of course not! I would never be jealous of a computer. But... A robot jealous of a computer? 
It seems just plain possible. Oh? Hey guys, uh, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, Don't man. say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough. You better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone! Everyone! It's serious! How? Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. No, not that. Gonto went to courtyard before coming here and... Gang gang! Gonto, what were you saying? Thanks for bearing with us! Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? Eh? We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? Let's worry about Montaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is. We will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. What? Actually. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before? Um... If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now, for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. What is that? Oh, I was like, what the hell am I looking at? The motive is a transfer student. The motive is a transfer student? The student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Oh, shit, for real? And send them back to the academy as a transfer student. Hey! Well? Hey, that's actually dope. Okay, but I'm pretty sure it's all bull. A transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? Kaede, kaede, kaede. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry, old habits and such. Hey. Monodam, let's forgive Montaro. Forgiving us what friends do, you know. Mono Fanny, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have to punish you. And that's why I'll have you punish Rontaro. <gasps> what? Me? Please, no. Not Mono Fanny. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. So long. Later, gang gang. We better resurrect Kaede. We were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't, screw around. Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh. Who the hell would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief due to lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See? They are similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is sort of a ritual. Through rumors and legends, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. Da, da, da. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? <laughs> what are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. 
So you believe in souls, but you don't believe the souls can be resurrected. Uh... That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Uh, okay. Uh, if not even Kyo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right! And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? Huh, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. Ha ha ha, this kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! Oh, can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Cause that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Okay, Angie, speak. Uh, so um, you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because. You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like they were never a dead body to begin with. So maybe... The truth is... They were never dead to begin with? They weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... But it might have been a very accurate imitation. N no. An imitation? I see. Monokuma and the Exizzles are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Yay, thank you, everyone. Wait. What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate Gah! male. Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, I but... do. I do want that. I just wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard? The message in the courtyard? Yeah, what are you talking about, Gonta? What message is in the courtyard? Uh, Gonta, um, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta goes see writing in courtyard. Hey! And it have even more writing this time. Huh? More writing. Um. Gonta no could understand what writing mean, but maybe... Right! Maybe a message from dead? Maybe someone leave message for us that say, hey, we alive? I don't know. I mean, what are the letters? Maybe we can unjumble it. Huh? A message from everyone who died? Because mm. no one here write it, did they? So someone else must write it, right? Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? Uh. Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual hell? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke. Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Say. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore, rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Hmm, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you! You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior to those four people. Huh? Huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and... <laughs> you work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Yeah. I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. <laughs> Grandmas, nice. They make cookies huh? and milk. Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Hmm. Hmm, 
and you will use your power for the peace of the academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Really? You need Gonta? Got it. Okay, Gonta joins student council too. Wait. Wait, before all that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tanko, and Sumugi. Yes! And we arrived to a conclusion. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Yikes. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Angie really is full of herself, though. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Okay. Can you tell me more things I don't give a damn about, please? Huh? A student council? And Angie is the president? Yes. Yes. There can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. <laughs> oh, shut up! Why? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by a Tua. <laughs> but since Angie can speak with a Tua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. A Tua is happy too. Oh, ah, jeez, they've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we even realized. However, but it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of a death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using the situation to take over the school and make us dependent on a Tua. Please wait! Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right! Yeah, gone to not let anyone talk bad about student council. Why you? You literally just freaking joined them, you brainwashed idiot! But... But I'm surprised Tanko decided to join the student council. Huh? Huh? Why? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Mm. Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait! Less burdensome? Hmm. That's a relief. If it's a Tua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way a Tua could be wrong. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. A Tua is always right. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. Yeah. It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I doubt they'd listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. Are we really going to revive somebody? Because Kaite, I mean Kaite, I was going to say Kaite, but I was thinking about Kaito. Kaede would be the perfect candidate to revive. But we still play as Shuichi, but she becomes a background character, you know what I mean? Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Time to train. But is Kaito okay? I'm assuming that's him, and I'm assuming that he is A-OK. -okay. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. It's Maki. My spidey sense is tingling. Right? Oh! I was right! That, that, that. Huh? Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well, and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys, then flake out. But... Oh, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. No. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. Uh, no, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really just gonna do this? Training? Just the two of us? If she didn't want to come, then why did she even come out when Kaito said he wasn't feeling good? If somebody told me they weren't feeling good, I would just be like, all right, I guess I'm not going either. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. This is hey. awkward. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like... All of that stuff just fades away. Okay, okay, I feel it. Do you 
look up to that idiot? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. <laughs> Maki sprang up and said, Hey. Hundred. I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. A hundred push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way, it just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because... Damn, that's deep. But I had no choice but to... This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... Oh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well, I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money? It's the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's gonna help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Damn! She said, did I allow you to speak, bitch? Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Up. Uh, see you tomorrow, Maki! She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. All right, then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that it's nothing serious. He just got the cold. He just got little bitch-itis, you know what I mean? He goes away within 48 hours. Yeah. Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. What? Oh, my God. What the hell is this? It's the Jeez. cult. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? Yeah. Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh, but Kurumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But if no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well. Limit? So basically you want to take our freedom away, is that it? My, my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Because that's what Atua says. That's what Atua says. Atua says, yes. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer if you were more careful. Hmm. It's for the peace of the academy. They really are brainwashed. And if that girl says Atua one more time, I'm going to kill Atua my damn self. Bing bong, bing bong, baby. Did I say bing bong, bing bong, baby? I can't even say the ding dong, bing bongs right. It's been a while since we got the good old ding dong bing bong. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around. Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you want. Huh? Huh? But I have a to his blessing. That's right. Yeah, we have a to his blessing. And I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What? What is going on? What? Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by Atua. Okay, Kaito? Um, Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Going to put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta handle it this time. Um, why would you do that? Because. Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Damn it! She just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion! Certainly. 
It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right. That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear a two after all. Aww. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you. Sumuki, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with this lady? Uh, thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. Oh my god, Angie, fuck out my face I've with that. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? And she's like, sure. Atua has whatever features <laughs> you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua is She's like soon. She's tabs her in the back. But I'm Oh, she's drooling now? Precious. So cool. Atua is just so cool. Hmm. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is Is it cuz you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? You you haven't given up? Uh -huh. You haven't given up. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you guys? I see. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? That reminds you me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Miu? What? Huh? So what if I was? By the way. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Who are these snitches? Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Atua, Atua is so. right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at nighttime. Huh? What? Stop it! What? What I do and where I do it is none of your freaking business. No? Nope. No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... Yeah, I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. <laughs> That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, Atua. What? what else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always Don't be around. stupid. Are you telling me just to stay here and do nothing? That's enough. Like hell I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Oh, oh thank God, gang gang. Oh, gang gang. Please get us out of this cult mumbo jumbo, bro. Are you all fighting? Yes! I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You bastards. We want you to get even closer with each other. That's so we brought this. Oh, a flashback light? It's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory. And become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. What? Wow! I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan named that long. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, let me see that. Ah. Uh. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... I hate that she acts like she's the boss. It pisses me right off. Are you kidding me? Bro, I am so sick of Angie. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. Oh, my God. She's actually uh, pissing me off so the much. The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Ay ay ay. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. If the writers of this game's mission was to make her the most annoying character ever, mission accomplished. But we don't need those memories anymore. Mission a freaking accomplished. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Everybody, I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just, oh no. If you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. Hey. What are we going to do, Monodam? <laughs> oh, ah. do I do the gang gang thing? Hey, he ran away. Oh. Hey, Monodam, wait. Oh, here we go. Gang so gang, well. later gang gang. Well. Oh, man, my throat's getting dry. <clears throat> <laughs> Bye, Anara. Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh, dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. That's not right. There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right. Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing Why, around. you... You've gone way too far! If you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. 
sorry. Sorry, but you should take that up with Atua. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Ah. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? what? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? Unnecessary precaution? Uh. Um, what if we got another time limit motive, like the one that got Rontaro killed? Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're gonna resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cool plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh, Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, 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 but we must submit to Atua's will if we're able to live a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. Eh, it's just like Atua says. Wh Are what? you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. That motive is of no concern to us, as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh. Uh, after discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is... Rontaro Amami! Huh? Rontaro? Because... Come on, man! We're gonna pick the wackest ultimate who gives a shit character? That's why I hate you. I hate Atua. I hate all of you brainwashed bastards. I don't want to revive Rontaro. Nor criminals like Ryomo who violated the rule against sharing... Oh my god. I don't want to revive Rontaro. True, Rontaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're gonna bring him back? I want to bring back Rontaro, dog. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I forgot what he sounded like. <laughs> no, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. He's dead. Kaede killed him. Yeah, ball stood ahead. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well. Well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Anara. God, she's the most annoying freaking character ever. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out Atua's will, but this is her will, isn't it? Obviously. However. Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey. Then it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. <laughs> no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? Huh? You say something? No. Oh, someone was zoning out. Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Bro, this dude's sick as hell. What's going on with him? Um, Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <sighs> anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. <sighs> Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys, my bad. I'm going to go back to my room. What the? What happened to him? Kaito left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was that about? Is he getting sick? Hmm. We were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start to worry about that guy. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Okay, let's go check out Kaito. What if he's dead? What if he got clapped by himself? And then the killer is like some kind of bacteria that he caught. Bro, imagine. Because he said, if I just put some spit on it, that means he has like some kind of wound, right? All right, where's that little sick bitch? Where are you? Hold on, why can't I find him? Oh, there you are. I wonder if Kaito's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Right as I was about to ring the bell, the door to Kaito's room opened and out came... Maki. Ah, ah Maki. Is she mad? Oh, there you are. 
Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well... He told me he was gonna skip today's training, too. I knew it. So he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you gotta do. Nah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way. Come to think of it, the student council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well... I told you... If you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really? But... No. I don't want to skip it. So it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? What? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyways, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So if I have to train alone, so be it. No, I'll go with you. Hold on. Before you spin away, I need to talk to him. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well. But this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Suiji, I'm sorry, but can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaito. Later, man. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. I think I'm gonna like the Shuichi Maki dynamic. He's a little detective with no confidence that just wants to find himself, and Maki wants to find herself too. But not because lack of confidence. It's for a different reason, I guess. Hey! Maki, about Kaito. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Uh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Huh? Tango? I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right! That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Uh, a um... favor? From us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Okay, this just got a little interesting. What do you want then, Tanko? Hey! Tanko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No. I could never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? Listen up! I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then? So you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie. But I think Angie is dangerous. That's right! The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That's become clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, I yes. won't deny that. I wanted her gone even before all this happened. Oh, me too. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Listen up! But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well... Do you realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I, that's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... But the other student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie! Huh? Only us? Well, yes. I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaito's not feeling well, you know? That's true. I see. You didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Please! So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you! Tenko bowed down as deep as she could. Well... Well then, let's go. Huh? What? We didn't even answer yet. 
<laughs> Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I'm not even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. This is something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tanko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, then do male. something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Sneak attack. I guess I'll forgive you though. Now, let's go convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the ritual right now in the ultimate artist lab. Huh? Together? I'm going to? Huh. Of course! I wouldn't ask just Suichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. Alright, it's right here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door. Uh, oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Uh, oh, that's right. Angie did say that she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open the door. Now. Hey! Wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little miss impatient. Then? Then how should I do it? Um... Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Ah. Oh, Tenko? Yes! Yeah, it's me. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Haha, <laughs> can I help you? Huh? Huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um... Uh, um... We're here to kill you. Oh! Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please, come in! No. Uh, no. It's not that. Well... Let's go in for now. We can talk well. inside. Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. What? No! Oh, okay. I was gonna say! I was like, is somebody else dead? I was like, if somebody's dead, then we know who the killer is, duh! Because Angie's the only one in here. Kaede? And Rantaro? Kurumi? Ryoma? I made them! Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them. Uh, yep. yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? I've never heard of that word. Of course! Why? Of course. For the resurrection ritual, of course. Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made these! What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You... You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? Huh? What? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but... But what? But why? It looks exactly like Kaede. The face and body. It looks like the real thing. But actually... But actually, it ain't shit! Hey! Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, I don't um... think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie. That's not possible. The bodies were not fakes, I'm positive. Especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live. Struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kurumi, Rantaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm-hmm. I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm, but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. 
That must be right, because the two is never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. Of course not. This is a Tua's will. Hey. This is your will, not a Tua's. Nope. Nuh-uh, it's a Tua's. A Tua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from a Tua. Or else we'll get punished, you know? You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but that's okay. Atua, Atua has spoken. spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Uh... Hmm, are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey. Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Uh, yes. Okay. After failing to persuade Angie... We reluctantly left the lab. It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh-oh. It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Huh? But... but... It's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softy, you know. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Eh? What's going on? Oh, no. Not too annoying people. Hi. Why are Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's nighttime. Himiko! Himiko! It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tanko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. Eh, she betrayed us? Uh. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Uh. Stop it. You're making me blush. Cut it Enough already! already. Tanko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah. Please, snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? Uh, that hurts. Let me go. Uh, Miko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Miko! Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, Tinko, um... let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Sounds alert. good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Himiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. This is a long episode. We're recording for over two hours. Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do. Ugh, I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just friend. Huh? You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well, well if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Whoa, that was a quick turnaround. Hmm. You should let Suichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tango returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, you were worried. What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Huh? Uh! There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing your mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. She just straight up said, do you want to die, bitch? Maki hurried back to her hmm. room. So Maki's going to think about it too? I didn't expect that, but I'm glad. Yeah, it's good to have Maki on your side. I mean, the ultimate assassin, especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Oh, somebody's here. What's good? Huh? The intercom. This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. It is Kaito. Oh, it's Maki. Well... What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. Ew. You wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, well, okay. I suppose that's true. Hey! It's fine! Let's just go stop the ritual. Huh? Kaito? Uh, okay. I heard from Maki Roll. It seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. What? 
Maki Roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Ah. You brought Kaito here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But... But Kaito, are you feeling okay? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic. Or else, I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last. Kaito, are you... Um... Scared? Huh? Huh? No. Ah, it's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because... Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since... We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh, ah, um, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? So... It's not that I'm scared. That's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? <sighs> Since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie, so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki Roll. Um... Anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. Wait, how come she didn't say to him, do you want to die? How come only Shuichi? I think Maki Loki kind of likes Shuichi, just a little bit, though. What are you doing over here, Himiko? Yeah? Eh? You guys again? Why? Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open this door for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... So tell Angie to open it for us. <sighs> and that's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must have been really into her work, so she won't come out. Uh-oh. Huh? What does that mean? She should be inside. Both this door and the back ones are locked. Huh? Both those are locked. Uh-oh. What does that mean? I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. But the door is only locked from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. Ah, uh, forever, hopefully. She! Himiko! Himiko! We need to get inside right now! Mm -hmm. Eh? Why? Nah. But you know, even if we wanted to check, it's locked. So we can't do... I see. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Ew. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's trick. Ah. Uh, oh, the lock picking. Huh? Huh? Lock picking? Hey. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. You want me to pick open this door, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Ah, oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um, yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. You. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Himiko. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. I hope so. I really hope so. Don't worry about that. Kokichi, hurry up and open the door. Bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. See? There. Open says me. Huh? That simple? <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well... Lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me. Ah! That cuts real deep, Maki. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Got it. Yeah, you're right. Please, 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 please. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob, pushed open the door, and saw... Oh, please. Please be Angie. Please be... Please be Angie. Please? Who's that? Okay, the Kaede? Ryoma? Kurumi? Antaro? Please be Angie, please be Angie. Yeah! Let's go! Screw you, Angie! God, I hated her character so much! Let's go! Give me those dong ding dong dings! Oh, thank God she's dead. Thank Save God she's dead. Oh, thank, you, guys, ah. thank you. Thank you, Atua. Thank you, Atua! 
fuck? Oh my goodness. Transfer student from beyond the grave. That's what that chapter meant. I am so happy that she's dead. So happy. Well then. <sighs> Let us pray for Angie. Yes. Thank you, Atua. <sighs> so that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <sighs> Atua, please take care of Angie. Hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have a tour with her? Apparently not! You know, apparently he was taking a little break. Clearly she didn't. Weird! That's not true. Angie says the tour always by our side. Damn it. You don't have time to talk about this. Instead of talking about a tour. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But why would someone do such awful thing? But... Is that really what happened? Huh? huh? Could it be? Is it possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... But what? Hey, gang gang! I am so happy that Angie's dead. Uh -oh. Ugh, a vomit soak entrance. How novel. And the puke is green again, too. That's a pretty ominous sign. Ugh. Why did another murder happen? What's the deal, Monodam? I thought you were going to make everyone get along. It's okay. Don't worry. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes? Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Oh, but how? So, then, so let's get started. We are Conduct a friends. friendly investigation. Then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it too, Monofanny? By the way, I've been thinking. You guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is, like, so lame. Living is all the rage these days. Ah, uh, more green puke. This is really unlucky. So Later, yeah, gang gang. Can't wait to investigate this one. So then. Ah, uh, as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. So, everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep. I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait! Not Gonto! No way Gonto ever get used to this! No. Nope. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi. All right, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? We seriously okay. don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Seems like... The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Samugi, but do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Uh... Oh, no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Uh huh? Uh, Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her? <laughs> hey! What? Shut up already! Wh it's what? her fault! Telling scary stories out of nowhere like that! Saying messed up stuff like that! <laughs> uh, Kaito, are you alright? Damn! Sure! Sorry, Suichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> uh, maybe that just wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage... Jeez. You've clearly settled right into your sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yeah, 
Let's take a look. All right, everybody, we're going to end this episode of Danganronpa on a high note. Angie is finally dead. She was one of the most annoying characters that I've ever seen in a video game. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. 50,000 likes, and we're going to figure out who killed Angie. But maybe we should just give them a Medal of Honor. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.